Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Welcome to the Pleasant Air Missionary Baptist Church, 1636 North Masters. Here in the wonderful Pleasant Grove area, Pastor the Reverend Kenan L. Tennyson. What, what did you come for? Father, we thank you and we praise you that you bless us to be in your house just one more time. God, we don't count it a light thing because we know too many people who started in January and they couldn't make it to December, but here we are. Not because we're so good and not because we're so great, but we're here today because you have showed us freedom. You've showed us healing and you've showed us restoration. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, God. Thank you for each one of the building. Thank you for those who are able to watch online, God. Bless your people today as only you can. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God who agree, say amen.
the living and loving God, to Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit who guides and directs my daily path. Honor to our pastor, to Reverend Barnett, to all of God's children present in this house today. It was on that night that Christ took bread and lifted it up unto his Father and gave thanks. And when he had given thanks, he gave it unto his disciples and said unto them, Take, eat ye all of it, for this is my body, which is broken for you. Shall we eat together? And it was also in the same manner that he took the cup 
and lifted it also unto his father and gave thanks. And then he gave it unto his disciples and said unto them, This is my blood, which is shed for the remission of all of your sins. Drink ye all of it. Shall we drink together? We bless the Lord for his promise. As I thought about and looked at the lesson that we had this morning, God's promise to his people. I know people that have made promises and put more effort into breaking it than they did, than it took to make it. I've, I've encountered people that have made promises and knew when they said it that they didn't mean it. But I bless the Lord this morning for our God that every promise that he has made to me, I'm not talking about you because I can't speak on your relationship, but every promise that he has made to me, he's kept his word. And when I got up this morning, I was excited. I could rejoice. I had a praise. Because of the promise of God. Wasn't thinking about my wife, wasn't thinking about my children, but the promise that God made to me. Yeah, that meant something to me. I've had friends that said, you know, I'm a ride or die with I'm with you. And 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 soon as it got a little warm, it didn't even get hot. It just got a little warm. Couldn't find them nowhere. Family members, I'm on your team. I'm there for you. I'm there with you. Whatever you need, I got you. Soon as I tried to call in a favor, couldn't find them. Hallelujah, but God. Yeah. When friends walked away, he was right there. When I was in need, he was right there. When I was broke, it was God that came through. When I was hungry, it was God that came through. I'm talking about the promise, not the promises, but the promise one, singular. The promise of God. Has God made you? a promise has God ever made you a promise I declare to you that if God has made a promise to you you can call in that marker you can call in that marker whenever you in need you can call on him sometimes I'm at home and, and, and everything's going well. Sometimes I'm at home and things are not going so well. And, 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 and I call my pastor and, and I get, hi, I'm excited. I, I don't need to know about your excitement because that's his voicemail for those of you that have not called him. But I needed to talk to him. Sometimes I call Q and, and he's busy. I get a text that says I'll call you back. But never, not never, have I called on God. And he told me, I got a message about his excitement. I got a text that he would get back to me. Never have I called on God. Why? Because he promised that he'd always be there. He promised that whenever I needed him, 
He'd be right there. He promised that he'd walk with me. He promised that he'd keep me. God promised me that he'd supply all of my needs according to what? His riches in glory, which is in Christ Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'm excited today because of the promise of God. The promise, not that he made to the church, not that he made to my pastor, but the promise that God made to me. Why? Because he's keeping his word. He is a God that would keep his word. He promised. God promised that when you sin, I'm going to deal with your sins. But even while I'm dealing with your sins, you still belong to me. I'm still your God. You're still my child. I will take care of you. I will provide for you. I understand. I understand why Jeremiah wept so hard, why he cried so much. For those that don't, we got an example right here. Because God told Jeremiah, I'm going to deal with them for their rebelliousness. I'm going to deal with them for their turning their backs on me. I'm going to deal with them for their disobedience. I love them, but I'm going to deal with them. And see, just like God spoke to Jeremiah and gave him a revelation, gave him an understanding, Jeremiah's heart was heavy because of God's discipline to his people. I love them, but I'm going to discipline them. I love them, but they still belong to me. That's why our pastor's heart is so heavy. Because he loves God's people. Because he desires that we prosper, that we walk in prosperity. Why? Because God has told him, I love them, but I'm going to deal with them for their mess. I love them, but they got to do better. They're going into captivity. And even in captivity, they are still my people. I'm still their God. I still love them, but I'm going to deal with them. I love them. God still loves you, even in the midst of your mess. He still loves you. Let me encourage you. Make it a little easier on yourself. Make it a little easier on our shepherd. Lighten his load a little bit. Do a little better. That his heart won't be so heavy. Think about it. If he didn't care, even more so, think about if God didn't care. He cares because God cares. And that's the God in him. And God has unveiled to him what he's doing in the life of his people. God's promise to his people. You missed it this morning. You should have been here. Not promises, but promise. God's promise. Would you make it personal? Yeah, make it personal. Apply it to you. Don't worry about the person next to you. Apply it to you. God's promise. It didn't say to the world, but he said to his people. Do you belong to God? If you do, he has a promise for you. 
If you don't, today is a great day to accept him in your life. And that promise will apply to you. Let us go to God in prayer. Our Father, our God, we come humbly bowed before you this day with much praise, honor, and adoration unto you. We bless your name, O gracious God, for yet another opportunity to worship you in your house. We thank you, O gracious God, for all that you've brought us through all week long. We thank you, loving God, for keeping us when we didn't even want to be kept ourselves. We thank you, O gracious God, for loving us when we were unlovable. Righteous God, we bless your name today for bringing us through danger seen and unseen. Oh, gracious God, we have gathered in your house today in spite of all that we've been through, in spite of what we are going through right now. We've gathered here today, Father, to worship you. And we desire to lift up your name. We desire to bow down before you in your holy and divine presence. Oh, gracious God, we magnify you today because you've been so good to us, Father. We've come to say thank you, Father. We've come to bless your name. We've gathered in your house today to give you praise, to give you honor, to worship you because you're worthy, oh gracious God. And we want to worship you in your presence today. Show up in this house today. Move, oh gracious God, as only you can. Magnify yourself. Unveil your presence to somebody that don't know you today, Father. Do it, oh gracious God, as only you can. Righteous God, we pray for your power, for your anointing, for your divine presence and your peace upon our shepherd today. We continue to lift him up unto you, O oh gracious God. Ask for your guidance. Ask for your strength. Ask for your presence in his life, O oh gracious God. Move righteous Father through him. Give him a word, Father, that he would preach today with power from on high, that your anointing would flow through him today, that he would stand up, Father God, and you would stand up in him Use him today, Father. Please, God, give him the desires of his heart that are pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Magnify yourself through our shepherd, O oh gracious God. Please, God, walk with him. Keep him, Father. Encourage him. Bless him, O oh gracious God, as only you can. Please continue to pour out your blessings upon this church. Continue, oh gracious God, to call her to be the light in this community that you purpose her to be. Please, loving God, continue to cause your word to flow in this house. Do it, oh gracious God. Please, God, do it to your glory. But please let it be for our good. And Father, we'll be ever so careful to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory because you and you alone, Father, you're worthy, oh gracious God. You're worthy, Father. We've come to worship you because you're worthy today. You're worthy, oh gracious God. In Jesus' name, we praise you and say thank you because you're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and thank God. Jesus made promises to us.
Father God, I come right now. And on this way, we know how. Glory to God. Binding up this demonic spirit that's hanging out today. Loosing up the spirit of you, God, to have your way. We know you're here, God. God, we just need you to stand up and stand out. Control the sounds in this building, God. We know the enemy is busy, but God, we know you're in control. So we ask you to take control. Have your way today. It's tough in here, Lord. People's lives are in shambles. But God, we need you to move. You made a promise to each and every believer in this place. Give them the strength to stand on it and trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. It's a done deal. You got to, y'all, we, hold on, wait a minute. It's too much word. Go on this place for you to be so high in Sunday school. And we got to start. 
Pour all over for service. Did he not make a promise to you? Did he promise you he'll keep you? Not forsake you? Be with you? We supposed to be praising. You, I don't care how much money you don't have. I don't care what your husband and wife are doing. I don't care how crazy them kids are. I don't care about you not having a job. We ought to be worshiping God. We ought to be praising his holy name. Because it could have been you. Outdoors. With no clothes. Or no shoes. Or just another number. With a tragic end. But he didn't see fit. So let that happen to you, man. He didn't see fit, Mac. He said, you know what? I'm going to make sure he works. I'm going to make sure he can pay his bills. So when it gets cold, he can cut his heat on. When it's time to go somewhere, he got a car to drive. When his stomach starts growling, he can go in his icebox and eat. And I know they ain't struck me sometimes. You see, what we're supposed to do as believers, we're supposed to come in here lifting up the name of God so the unsaved people can realize that, wait, 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 wait. If God will do it for them, surely, surely Mac will do it for me. But if the believers ain't saying nothing, the sinner don't stand a chance. Some of you are coming here on your last leg. You on life support. You got IVs in your arms looking for God to move. And he sent you to this place where the word goes forth and believers are being transformed and we won't say nothing. You ain't got to be perfect. Keep on sinning. God will turn it around. He'll fix it. He'll work it out. He will make the crooked way straight. Oh, I don't think nobody believes it. He will make the bumpy road smooth. If the mountain is too high, he'll bring it down. If the valley is too low, he'll lift it up. So you can just go and walk in that thing. My God, you can just go on. Somebody said just go on and walk in it. Go on walk in what God promised you, man. Get, get, put your hands together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Sometimes in life, <laughs> you're going to be tossed by what, man? By the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. What you going to do, man? But in the world. The storm don't see And just in case the wind Keep on blowing in my life My soul My soul has been anchored In my soul has been anchored what about it? My soul has been anchored. My soul has been anchored. Come on! My, 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 my soul has been anchored. Oh, yeah. My soul is anchored. Right my soul 
New Haven. Ma, 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 say still on the road. Break the day dash. I shall not sweat because it holds me fast. Soon up the days, the clouds in the sky. I know it's all right. Come deal with mine. My soul has been aching. My soul is aching. My soul. My soul is aching. 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 My soul is Hold it, hold me fast. Show that today. Clouds in the sky. I know it's alright. Cause she is mine. My soul. My soul. My soul. My mama, mama. My soul is very good. My soul is very good. My soul has been yeah, yeah, yeah. a can be my God. Man, it ain't angry in my mama. It ain't angry in my daddy. It ain't angry in my car. It ain't angry in my money. My soul. Job title, not no car, not no house. My soul, oh, help me. And the word became flesh and dwelled among his own. My soul has been anchored in. Woo! Anchored in. Genesis chapter 15, we're going to yeah. prove it to you in just a minute. Yeah, yeah, we're there now. 
Genesis chapter 15, we're going to prove it to you. Yeah. While you're shouting, I'm going to give you a reason to shout, to validate the shout that you have. Come reason on. why you can say your soul has been anchored in the Lord because I'm going to prove it to you in the Word. Where are we going? To the Word. Genesis chapter 15, verse 7. God continue. I'm the same God who brought you out from earth of the Chaldeans and gave you this land to own. Abram said, Master God, how am I to know this, that it will all be mine? Look at it. Here it is. Here it is. Verse 8 said, God said, bring a heifer, a goat, and a ram, each three years old, and a dove, and a young pigeon. He brought all the animals to him, split them down the middle, and laid the halves opposite of each other. But he didn't split the birds. Vultures swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram scared them off. As the sun went down, a deep sleep overcame Abram, and then a sense of dread, dark, heavy. God said to Abram, know this. Your descendants will live as outsiders in a land, not theirs. They'll be enslaved and beaten down for 400 years. There we, come, there, we go, there we go. Then I'll punish the slave masters. Your offsprings will march out of their load. They're loaded with plunder, but not you. You'll have a long and full life and die a good and peaceful death. Not until the fourth generation will your descendants return here. Sin is still a thriving business among the Amorites. When the sun was down and it was dark, smoke and fire pot and a flaming torch moved between, between the split caucuses. Right. That's when God made a covenant with Abram. I'm giving this land to your children from the Nile River in Egypt to the river of Euphrates in Assyria, the country of the Kenites, Kizanites, Catamarites, Hittites, Parasites, Raphaims, Amorites, Canaanites, Gushites, and Jebusites. I'm giving you all of it. Today I'm going to talk about it's a done deal. It's a done, even if you can't see it, you got to know it's a done deal. Even though it ain't happened yet, man, you got to know in your heart that it is a done deal. Somebody say it's a done deal. God going to give you what he promised you. Uh-oh, there we go to my Sunday school. He, what's for you is for you. Can't get mad because he got something for me. Because what's mine is mine. And the problem is you shouldn't be hating because God giving them theirs before he give you yours. Maybe you haven't got yours because you're hating. You haven't learned how to praise and share when somebody else get their blessing. When God answers somebody else's prayers, you ought to be rejoicing because that's the same God you serve. And if God can do it for Reba, surely it's just a matter of time he can do it for me. I don't want Reba stuff. I want what God has for me. And then you know we're talking about this darkness that then came over Abraham. I keep telling y'all, we've equated darkness to wrong. And there is some wrongness in darkness. We're not talking about being in darkness and coming to the moral life of being saved. We're talking about when God gets ready to use you, Donna, he takes you to a deeper place. And deeper places are always darker than surface situations. When it's on the surface, you don't need no darkness because there ain't nothing really happen. But when God gets ready to deliver you, to get ready to enhance you, he, he opens a hole and puts you down in the darkness and then cover you back up and let your metamorphosis take place. Yeah. Yeah. Abram is the father of faith. You know, he said, I'm going to test your faith in all kind of ways so that when I use you, they'll know and they read about you, they'll see I've used you in this, I've proved you in this, I proved you in this way. I proved it that way. You came out on this side. You went to the back side and came out on that side. You went darkness. I'm going to bring you up out of there. So when you listen to me and move, T, you understand. Find out last week that God said, I got you. 
I know you're worrying about your descendant. I know you first you start out worrying about himself. Started out worrying about himself. He said, You the man. I ain't came yet, but you the man. I know you old. I know you're an idolater. I know all the foolishness about you, but I love you and I picked you for this time. Why, well, why God, you know, you know, we always want to question God. Why God? Why God picked you? Why not you? See, everybody thinks when God picks you, you got to have everything right. Uh-uh, no, no, no. You got to have every eye dot, dotted and every T crossed. That's, that's what the church done told you. God won't use nobody like you. He, he can't use nobody like you. Well, you can tell they ain't read their Bible. Because all the trashy people in the book, uh-oh, made the book. Uh-oh, wait a minute. How can a trashy person make the book? He said, as I'm writing, I'm telling you, I pick who I want to pick. I pick the one that the world don't want. I picked the one they laughed at. Oh, God wouldn't use nobody like that. And I stand them up. You know why I picked them, uh, 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 Kim? So you won't think it's you. That's why y'all be looking at You mean God? Outside preaching, we're talking about, he the pastor? Yeah, I'm the pastor. Yeah. Why are you the pastor? He picked you? Joe Ernest said, who you think you is? How you going to put your mouth on me? Because the truth be told, I didn't want this. But because my heart is willing, because God knows where my heart is, God knows he can trust me. He said, come here, boy, you, you yeah, yeah, I done brought you through some stuff. I done brought you through some stuff. I done brought you through some stuff. See, when you stand up there and talk, it ain't theory. When you stand up there and talk, you ain't condemning the people. See, I preach from the pew, not to the pew. Only those, only those that are not saved understand who I am. Only those who are saved understand who I am. I'm talking from your seat, not to your seat. Uh-oh. I know what it is to be hurt. I know what it is to have mommy issues. I know what it is to have a woman don't want you. I know what it is to have wayward kids. I know what it is to, have to be always look like you're at the bottom of the barrel. I know what it is to look like that county and everybody seems to be prosperous but me. I know, I know what that is. I know what it is to have those vices. I still got a few of them. <laughs> yeah, you got some. You always want to talk about mine. You ain't fat. You ain't fat for no reason. You fat because you glutton. You have a greedy spirit. You a glutton. That fork worn you out. You praising the fork, but you mad at the weed. Uh oh. You got a. You, the side of your bed is full of. Here I come. The side of your bed is full of snickers. And you mad because inside his bed is full of condoms. You ought to be rejoiced that he will use a condom. Because there's some luggage out here you can't get rid of. AIDS is resting a baby. STDs are more powerful than a baby. They don't go up with that. Yeah, you're going to take them with you. And then if you keep messing with people, you're going to infect people with your foolishness. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, you mad because he's drinking. Don't worry about that. You, you lie. That's why God said, I'm trying to help you understand something. God said, I paid for them all. He said, there's none righteous. Don't you open your mouth like you done arrived. Some of you are struggling right now. You just finished Sunday school, teacher. I'm struggling right now, and I'm preaching right now. But aren't you glad we serve a God that looks beyond who you are and see you as you are? Uh, he see you as you can be. If I stand him up, I'm going to draw some people because that man, is re- re- he's, he has a reach for those that are struggling. Sitting here calling, he's sitting here wondering, what is it, God? He said, I got you. It's dark, God. He said, I know it. I made it dark to see how real you really are. It's easy to praise me when the light's on. It's easy to praise me when everything's going your way. But is your faith strong when it's dark? 
Is it strong when you can't see? You done went to the doctor. They don't know what's wrong with you. But the word say by his stripes we are. Do you have enough faith to stand on the strike? The fact that God can heal you right now? You in trouble, in jail, been in jail, on your way to jail. But he said, I'm a lawyer. In the courtroom. Said, I don't know how you're going to eat. Ain't got no money. Bill behind He said, I, I shall supply all your needs. I'm a way maker. You, you, you can't call him a way maker if he ain't never put you in no situation to make a way, man. You can't call him a lawyer if you ain't never got in trouble. And if you ain't never been sick, you don't know him to be a healer. God said, I'm going to cut the lights off and shake it up. And whatever comes, will you still call on me? Here we are. Here we are in the text. I'm still in the text. I'm in the text. God just got through telling him, I got you. I got you. I got you. And, 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 and Abram said, wait a minute, God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got one more question, God. I got one more question. I got one more question. He said, what about the land? He said, you promised me the land. We ain't been, we ain't had the baby. I'm, now, first of all, I'm scared. Because all of chapter 14, I had, to, I had to watch you work. I couldn't put my hands in it. So this thing said, don't you touch nothing. Just look. And, and then, and then, you ain't never fought. So I'm going to put you in battle. I'm going to take you to fight. You ain't never fought. It's five kings that you finna go defeat. I'm gonna take four of y'all. And in that Bible day, uh, may may kings didn't accept defeat too easy. Yeah, you got me now, but we finna go come up with a plan. We go listen, it's every time I see you, every time I think about you, it's on site. Every time. Boy, you took out my best guy. Every, every time I see you, it's going down. And then somebody said then. He was looking out for his boy Lot, his nephew, and the nephew wasn't even studying God. Oh. Lot said, listen, I thank you for getting me out, but I'm going back to Sodom. I'm, I'm going back to Vegas. I'm going back to the sin city. I'm going back to where I can get it on. Not knowing that God was finna take it out. Oh God. So, 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 so here we go, here we go, y'all. He's sitting there saying, now, man, we done done all this, it ain't nothing happened. Have you done all you can do and it look like ain't nothing happened? Oh, is it just me? You done, you done prayed every prayer you can pray? You done gave every dime in your pocket? You done, you done fasting? You at church every time it's over? You're scrolling, getting the word? You're, you're reading every book you can find that has a scripture in it? You done, you done ate the Bible inside and out? It don't seem like nothing is happening. Is it just me? Is it, is it, just, is it just me? The more, the more spiritual we become, it seems like the worse it gets. I mean, the more we trust God, it seems like the more hell breaks loose. And, and the truth of it is, he's developing your faith. Say Nathan to let you just receive this, hey Karen. Say Nathan to let you just receive this word and walk in your greatest God. Satan said, oh, 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 no. I'm not going to let Brandon get the upper hand on me because he used to be in my army. He done left and he got drawing power. Some of y'all don't even know how much. Some of you don't even know how powerful you are. You got drawing power. There's a circle of people that hear your voice. There's a circle of people, you know, you, when you went out to the club, you took certain people with you. Everybody don't go out with you when you're going out, man. I don't care. You ain't taking no broke person. Hell, I'm tired of buying drinks. You can't ride me if you ain't got your own weed. I'm tired of passing my blunts. You ain't never got no weed, Neil. You always want some of mine. I ain't going out to eat for because you ain't never got no money. We're going to eat at home. So what happens, man, you start developing a new circle, Carla. You start developing a circle of people that can meet the needs that they have for themselves. I don't need you to pay for me. I just need you to carry your own self. I don't need you to get, I don't need you to pay for me to get in. I need you to quit begging for me to get in. Can we rotate the rounds? I got the first round, great, I like him. I got the second round, great, I like him. I got the first blunt, we gonna start going this way with the blunt, I'm gonna start going this way with the blunt. So we got blunts rolling, and everybody, four of us in here, we need to roll four blunts, okay? Don't matter, we can, fuck, we can, we can, we can smoke two on the way, 
One when we get that, one on out. Y'all better hear me. I'm tired of you taking my home. I bought a 37. I bought a 37. I got five blocks in a 37. I'm tired of smoking all my 37 with you. I want you a 37. I put a little more ounces. I put a, a half a gram more. Now I'm going to do a little bit more. Y'all y'all know the, when you got a real connect, he always give you a little more. Uh-oh. You pay for the 3-5, he give you a, he give you a 5-0. You know, you, you, that's why they show connect, because your connect always give you a little more. But I got a connect that's better than all your connects. Because my connects say I shall supply all your needs. According to his riches and glory, which is in. Somebody says it done there. Yeah. Malcolm Raymond, Malcolm Raymond taught me something a long time ago. I got an uncle in Carol's Hope. He's gone on the glory. He used, we used to think he was part of the mafia. He didn't sell much. He just look at you. He had a pocket full of money. He wouldn't say nothing. Of Mac and we used to walk up to the truck. Hey, uncle, what you drinking? He said, my drink. Hey, uncle, we your nephew. Hey, nephew, what you drinking? My drink. Give me a shot. He said, no, nah, you need to get in your car and go across the bridge. My drink too expensive to share with you. I don't drink nothing out of a plastic bottle. I drink real stuff. And real stuff don't take the whole bottle. Uh oh, uh oh. See, y'all out is because y'all drink that cheap stuff. You got to take a whole half a gallon to get a buzz. But when you got good stuff, you can put it on ice. Uh oh. I don't need no Coke in it. Or just pull it and make it us. They call it neat when you don't have no ice on it. Neat means it's just pure cognac. It's just pure whatever you're drinking. And good stuff, you don't gulp it. You sip it so you can... T- oh, y'all act like I got some drinkers in here. I got some drink. I ain't going to even ask who drank it, but I got some drinkers in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Donna, you just don't gulp it down. Because that's a $90 bottle. No, 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 uh-uh, 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 no, sir, Reebok. No, no. We're going to keep that locked up because you playing. <laughs> Don't you come to the circle with no Reggie. Don't you come to the circle with no Reggie. What's Reggie? That weed that don't get you high. That's the grass they cut in the backyard and put it in a... In a I'm going to tell this. We, and a real smoker can, can tell you what Reggie is. Let me tell my... No. I'm going to get you in a minute, Carla. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get you with that steak I cook. I'm, I'm going to get you. Just sit right there. I'm talking to my... I got more weed smokers than I do anything. So a, 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 a weed smoker can tell... No, this don't. That green... That, that, no, they don't even got... It, uh, Man, and they get an attitude. No, they're not. They're talking about, hold on, 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 who brought this? Who brought this? I'm going to get to y'all in a minute that do something else. I'm just talking to my weed head right there. They be talking about, uh-huh. No, no. Eeny, meeny, my. That's yours. Come here, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why in the hell? Did you mix that trash with this gas? You're weakening my gas with this trash. I'm coming back. You're weakening my gas with this trash. Don't mix it together. We rather you put yours up and smoke with us. Bud Parker sitting there talking about, yeah. Bud Parker's my man, yeah. He saved man to all of it. Because he probably ain't always been this clean. Uh oh. Now here I come to you, fat folk. You big ones. It's the difference in steak and ribeye. It's 
See, I don't grill nothing. I don't grill nothing with ribeye. You know why I grill ribeye? Because it's got some. It's got some fat in it. It's a. It's a lean cut. Down to that fat, make it taste juicy. And when you know what you're doing, you just turn it on two or three, two minutes a piece, and pull it out because it's got a little. It's got a little crust on it. And it's it's, it's not all burned on it. It's not all dried out. She said, "We can tell you it used to stay. Give me a, give me a, a, whatever kind of steak. You don't even know what kind of steak it is." I cooked steak for Carla one time, Carla Taylor. I'm going to tell them. I cooked baked potatoes, steaks, and biscuits on cornbread. Carla, Carla bit that steak. She said, oh, my God. She tasted that potato and bit that steak. She said, oh, my God. She put a knife Carla said, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Give me that good meat. We're talking about the steak, the steak. We're talking about the steak. We're talking about the good meat. I put it on the grill. I ain't left y'all out you with you winos. Boy, they bring that wine up in there. Y'all can smell it a mile away. Oh, you winos in here, you luscious. Don't let them fool you. They can have their hat. They, they hats on, they mask on, they'll drink it on the table. Winos. I ain't cussed today. I said winos. They got this thing called Taylor Port. Hold on. Hold on. Carla. I heard so much about it. I went and bought me a bottle. So I got to drink it and call him. Donnie went to sleep, woke up the next morning to my. Man, I'm like, wait a minute. My eyes won't open. I say, this is cheap. I was at a, I was at a brunch yesterday and I was talking to some. Listen to me, don't miss this. I was at a brunch yesterday and I was talking to some believers and they're, they're connoisseurs of wine. You know, nowhere in the Bible does it say drink in his body. He turned water into wine. They, they quote that, the Lord, the Lord. turned water into wine. That was into wine. But what, but yeah, you got that one. You don't, you don't get the one about giving. You don't get the one about sowing to the preacher. But you sure know he'll turn water. You wine oh you. <laughs> so, so, so listen to me, y'all. Listen to me, listen to me. We were sitting there, Mac, we, my sister Reba, we were sitting there talking. And she said, she said, I don't like sweet wine, but I have friends that love sweet wine. She said, I, may, I, I like these other wines. And she said, well, show me. She made me a mimosa. I said, yes, go. Now, 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 I know my mimosa had uh, champagne and orange juice. And they had another one. I didn't, even, I didn't want to try that one. It was champagne and cranberry juice. So the, so the men were drinking the uh, mimosas and the women were drinking the points. We all, we all was getting slizzled together. Either, listen, the food tastes better. She said, she say, she say, she said, I gotta come see your church. She said, you this transparent church? I said, baby, I'm worse than church. I don't care. I am who I am. Y'all are liars. I'm real. It ain't for the weak at heart. Y'all got it. I don't drink. You a liar. You got a whole trunk full of stuff. Then I come to your house. You, you, you looking all crazy because the person sitting next to you drunk and you got a. Smoke. Then we come to your house. What that roach? What that roach clip do? No, no, that's the one that ain't let nothing. So, so Barbara, that's the one that's just getting the last of the last. What does this have to do with the text? I'm telling you. We have all this stuff going on. 
But God says, I still got you. See, that's why you can't be free. You got all your life happening. God said, I already took care of that. He said, Abraham, I know it's tough. Can you still trust me? Look what he said. Look at what he said to him. Look what he said to him. Verse 7 says, God continued. Now let's go to verse 6. And he believed. What did he believe in? Believed God. And then God declared what? So he's righteous. Because his belief in God. Uh oh. Not because he don't smoke. Not because he don't do nothing, but because he believed God. Self-righteous people are those people that think they did it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I know y'all finna get quiet now because we got a whole... You know the ones that point the finger? You know, that ain't God doing that. No, well, he did yours. He was God when you were doing yours. But the Bible says when Christ came, he, 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 he pulled out all of our sin and imputed his righteousness unto us. Which makes us sons and daughters of God, which makes us joint heirs to the throne. Oh, you don't know when to shout. Not because of me, because I don't count. By myself, I ain't nothing. Somebody say nothing. You ain't nothing by yourself, but with God, I'm bad to the bone. Because God looks beyond all my faults and still, uh oh. See, my, have you ever had some faults that you know God looked past? Oh, that's some faults that we know God is looking past as we yet. See, that's why you should be shouting, because you know you ratchet. You know you all those things, but yet God still put a praise on your lips. He makes the crooked way straight. He makes the bumpy road smooth. You should always be saying, Lord, have mercy, because have mercy. I just thought something I shouldn't have thought right. Uh-oh. In service, your mind went. I see you be talking. When you come and look, you look at where they go. God said you're righteous because you believe. Somebody says a done deal. Number one, verse seven says. Here's the first point. First point is affirmation. I need to know that it is you, and that you're gonna do what you said you're gonna do. Verse 7, God continues, I'm the same God. I'm affirming you. I'm him. You remember when I brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans and gave this land to your, uh, this land to, to own? I'm him. God had told Abraham that he would give the land of Canaan to him and his descendants, and now he reaffirms it. The, the, listen to this. This, this. this land, Mac, is not just the land. This land... The land of Israel will be the stage for the final act. What final act? Of that drama uh, uh, when he, the Messiah, returns to reign on earth. So this land that I'm going to give you ain't just land. This is the land where Christ going to show up. And show, oh, y'all don't hear me. So this land means something. I'm not giving this land to anybody. The Messiah is going to come and show down on this land. So I'm going to promise you it's a done deal. I got to get it to you. Because from 315, I just told you the seed of the, of the woman going to bruise his heels on the head of the serpent. I got to get the Messiah here. That's why the land is so important. This is going on while darkness is happening. Some of you ain't got your stuff because he ain't ready to expose it to you. You in light. He said, now I ought to get this. I'm going to have to take you a little deeper. I'm going to have to take you in some darkness and, you, and make you ponder on that. I need to show you when you can't see this land, why well, I'm going to give you this land. God always affirms himself to us. Have you ever read a scripture and came to church and the pastor said the same thing? Have you ever, have you ever had a thought in somebody, you go, you go get a lesson and they're teaching the lesson? God always affirms himself to you. He wants you to know, you can count on me. I don't care where you are, Sister uh, Eason. I don't care what you're doing, Connie. You can count on me. I'm going to show you that I'm God. 
He will. He may not come when you want him. Do I have anybody in here? You're getting too quiet. Do I have anybody here that, that, that when you least likely expect God to show up? I mean, when you all the way wrong. I mean, when your mind is totally on the opposite side of God. He, have he ever just showed up for you, sister God? I mean, you'll be like, woo, look at God. He said, he said, I'm affirming to you that what I do for you has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with me. Because you are joining ass to the throne. You are my daughter. You are my sons of God. The other day. The other day. The other day, Q. Mac, the other day, the other day, my daughter, she, she, well, she, she'll trip. My daughter will trip, man. She's a trip. I mean, she played this thing to the nine. She said, Daddy? I said, what, man? When you get the text, it just say, Daddy? It ain't no hate. It just say, Daddy. She say, uh, so, hey, Karen, she said, Dad, I got my money for my ticket. Praise God. I got my three, I got my money from my love off, and I said, Praise God. I said, That's that it's strike two. Yeah, she want me to know. <laughs> Max, she talking about, yeah, daddy. Ooh. And then she killed her son and shot all over the church. Now, man, look at her. I said, she shot it. She said, I said, baby, what you shot for? She said, baby, dad, I did it. I made the sacrifice and I put my money in. Last year, this time, I didn't have no clients. This year, I got clients galore. I said, okay, baby. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. I see her on Facebook. I see her on Facebook doing a thing, coming up. I said, she needs some clothes. That's what I said to myself. She needs some clothes. That's my daughter. She looks pretty rough. If she wore them jeans one more time. That's what you probably said. I said, now, 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 I know she. I said, now, she represents me. Hold on now. You know, that's my daughter. Now, I see her working. Now watch this, y'all. I said she needs some clothes. There, there. I need some clothes. You're talking about confirm yourself, holy. She don't know that me and God. I'm trying to help y'all or something. She don't know that me and God done had this talk. See what God showed me, told me, tell you, if you do your part, ah. When you come up short, ah, God will meet you because it's already, uh, see, I already had in my mind, she needed clothes. And then when she got to her checking account, it wasn't there. Daddy, I need some, you know what I said, clothes. Now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Can I run it all the way through? I said, well, I'm going to give you some money. No, 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 just let me use your card. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. See, I remember, man. One time I bought her some food with uh, DoorDash. And she didn't delete my card. So I kept checking my account. I'm like, what is this DoorDash? I, what is this eat out and all? She remembered my card. And anytime her and her friends got hungry, I just saw deductions, man, that came out that I didn't authorize, but because I gave her the card, I couldn't say it was fraud because if I said it was fraud, it would leak back to her phone and then take my baby to jail. I called man, I said, man, who, who you feed? I don't, I ain't feed nobody. I said, what? I ain't feed nobody. She don't got deeper. I ain't feed nobody. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. I said, can I? Uh, uh, see what had happened, Daddy. So, so now why I'm supposed to bless her with some clothes? I've matured. Somebody say mature. See, if they get you the first time, shame on them. They get you the second time, shame on you. Now, now baby, here's what I'm going to do. I need, and I got this cash app account. I'll never keep a lot of money in because, you know, cash app is crazy. Uh, send, I, said, I, said, I said, Brandon, send her 200 and I'm going to give you 200 He said, okay. He sent me 200 Yeah, go on, send it. Here's your money right now. It's just, it's just safe. Don't you know that I got that from God? God has it all, but he puts a limit to see, to see what you can handle. 
See, if I give you free range, you'll lose your mind. Now, I'm going to bless you, but don't put a cap on it. Uh-oh, you're only getting 210. I don't care what you do past 210, but you got 210 to do whatever you want to do with it. And based on how you handle that, we'll determine if I send you. She must have read this in the Bible. Daddy, daddy, let me show you what I got. Daddy, let me show you what I got. I don't even want to see it. I don't want to see it. Because she, she, when she was growing up, I did it. We found a children's store, the children's place store out in, out in uh, Grapevine. And that was the wholesale house. Donna, we went in there. I said, I like that. I forget it in every side. It was $2. So if you give me 12 of them, that's just $24. That's my figure. She can have that. She's the only baby I know that was two months old with some go-go boots on. She had, I tell you. I got to have them go-go boots. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See, Daddy know what you need. I, they got. They had the two T, four T, six T, eight T, ten T, twelve T, one, two, three, four. I say, by the time she gets to side five, she ought to be good. I bought them all. They was a dollar a piece. What, 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 what is it? I need her to look like that at all times. That's how God does us. Ooh, my Donna, she look good. And everyone got to be saying, my Donna look good in that. So I'm, I'm going to get all sizes. Now, when she started dragging her feet, messing the heels of the front of them up, you know, just, just not caring. They, you find one, one shoe in the car, the other shoe in the house. You, you start limiting what you give them. How many, of us is, uh, how many of us are causing God to limit? How many of us are causing God? Say, I love you, but no, 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 no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. It's a done deal. All those shoes are in the closet. All those clothes are hanging on the rack. All my money's in my pocket. All I gotta do is trade for it. But I gotta test you. You ain't, you ain't strong. You ain't, baby, you ain't strong enough. Daddy, Daddy, I need some gas. I say, <laughs> you need to walk. Where your mama at? Uh uh-uh, uh, Daddy. She always tell me to call you. I call her mama. Didn't we both have her? <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. Uh, she, so now she's playing both of us. I said, go in my top draw and get a 20 out of there. I go count my money. <laughs> hey, Q, I go count it. You know why I go count it? To see if she got it. No, to see if she got what I told her to get. See, a lot of times God testing you to count you. He counting what you're doing to see if he can test you. If he can trust you, because if I can't trust you to just get a 20 out of my drawer without going through all my money, I ain't giving you nothing else. How many times have you failed God? He told you to get 20, you took 100. Like he don't know. Like you don't, like he don't know, Gabriel. God know everything. Then he says, Verses 8 through 12. Well, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I might cut this off after this one. Because this is the most stuff in here. We'll be here about, about 3 30. The second one, the first one is affirmation, verse 7. Verses 8 through 12 is assurance. I assure you that it's going to be done. Look, look at this, y'all. Look at this. It says, Abraham's question was not a sign of unbelief. Because he asked God, call him, what is he going to do? It did not suggest that he didn't believe. But a request for a token of assurance. Promise me again. Assure me. You say you're going to give me what? How much you going to give me on Friday? It's Thursday, Mama. You say you're going to give me how much on Friday? Why, what's up? Is that still on? Can I get a little bit more? Y'all, have y'all, don't your kids do that? Mama, you say you're going to give me 100 on Friday? You didn't say 150, just 100. See, he answered, so the, the, the president, Abram said, Lord, what you say you're going to give me? It ain't that I don't believe you. I just need to hear it again. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I, you, I don't count up a thousand hills. How much you say you don't, Pop? You don't count up a thousand hills. See, 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 when you get the information, you get the assurance, you want to you be assured that you can count on that. What you say the promise is? What you promising me? 
I think uh, 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 McIntosh and, and this girl talked about the promise, not promises. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you can ask God, what's the promise again? Yeah. 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 It's okay to ask to reaffirm. Yeah. It's okay to ask for assurance yeah. Yeah. so you can stay straight. Yeah. Yeah. He was confident that God would give him the promised land. He, he knew it, Matt. He, he knew that God was going to do what he said he was going to do. When we got to verse 5 in chapter 15, uh, 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 Abraham was 175 years old. Watch this, y'all. Uh-oh, here I come. Just hit me, Q. He had been walking with God for a century, and God ain't done nothing yet. Sister Claudia, it's in the text. He had been walking with God for a hundred years. I'm going to let that sink in. How many of y'all fold out the two weeks? Two hours. Two minutes. God said it. You give your money to me. Now, what's I supposed to get at? I mean, it ain't, it's quicker than right now. <laughs> now, I don't think I was supposed to get at it. You, you just say it. A <laughs> hundred years. He said, "Now so you got to, you got to assure me. You got to affirm some stuff to me. You got to give me some assurance. This has been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times you got laid off for it? Is that right? Four. Yeah, yeah, man. Four different times. Yeah. And that wife had to step in because God, we gonna get to it in a minute. Wow. Now you promised us what, God? Now, I, I know she went on her knees. <laughs> he be, he praying for a job. She now, God, you gotta give me something." Amen. I ain't finna take care of this nigga all my life. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh. I'm not finna keep doing this. You gotta show me something. It's, it's gonna be all right. It's, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Some people can pray. Some, oh, here I come. Some people are designed for them to get through. Some people are designed to go the other way. Cause she, she, oh, here I come. Here I come. Can I go on? Cause I know a little bit about it. She went to God because she knew he knew God. Uh oh. But y'all looking at me crazy. She went to God. Because she knew her husband knew. See, see, Mac went in there going crazy. He was in there when she walked through the kitchen. Father God, I come now to say thank you for making a way out of nowhere. Lord, I know you are in control. I know. I don't know what. I'm just, I'm just trying to give you an idea. She watched her husband pray her way, his way through, not lay his way through. See, when she got up to go to work, he went in the bed sleep. I'm sure he got up, crunked the carb, made the coffee, made a lunch, and went to praying. So, so when she got up, uh-oh, uh-oh, everything was showing that he's not lazy. He's just without work. Big difference. He wasn't like because when he had the job, he took care of it, didn't he? And he didn't get fired. He got laid. Uh-oh, wait a minute. There is a difference. He didn't quit. He didn't quit because your check hit. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> he didn't get fired because he was tired. He got laid off because of cutbacks. Major difference. And I've been with that work. But I went cut grass. I watched cars. I got a, I got a, I got a responsibility. I, I got to take care of what's mine, baby. I got signers real bad. I cut your grass for thirty dollars. We ain't got no groceries. I cut your grass for thirty dollars. See, the hustle is so separate. I'm washing cars. I ain't caring. I'm, I'm doing whatever. I paid the bills with no job. Because I knew God had something better for me. Lord, I'm in this spot. What are you teaching me? You know what he taught me, Sister Walter? Trust me. I was trusting God to show me. You got these men that's trusting in you. You need to leave them. You they God, you need to leave them. He said that. I said that. I don't been, see, I asked this boy, I said, what's your plan? He said, I got no plan. I says, how you know she's your helpmate? 
Oh, she gonna help you meet nothing? And it don't work. Like oh, he see you. Watch this. Watch this. If he picks you and he don't have nothing, he don't think you're gonna do nothing but be with him. See, you you are incubator, ladies. You incubate. You make something grow. When my daughter was born, she was breached. Her legs were like this. They cut that warm light on the incubator. Her legs came down. You make the difference, ladies. Uh oh. So the incubator was cut on and break her legs come down the when they came down. But if the man don't have no direction, what are you incubating? Anything times zero is. See, when a man go to work, he bring the groceries. She cooked the meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When a man go by the house, she making a home. I don't care. Just give me this little piece of bed. I just need this little piece right here because I'm going to go sleep and do it again tomorrow. Now, what I don't need you raising hay. I don't need you acting a fool. I need you to have your alcohol in your hand and your negligee on. And a drink if I drink. I need you to have your alcohol and your negligee on because I'm out here. I've been fighting. Let me feel something soft. Let me just rub, touch something. Let me change my mindset, okay? If you really want to knock, you really want to knock my head out, meet me at the door naked. I mean, something. I've been fighting these folk out here all day. Am I, Brother Park, am I right? Meet me at the door with that salt. With your birthday suit on. I don't need you to have all that stuff on. My cute, hey, 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 hey. Y'all ain't in your Bible. I need you to just rub me. What is it? I don't care what it is. I'm at home. They don't have nothing else on with. Been sitting there talking about shoes. Hey, yeah. Been sitting there. That's what I'm talking about, man. Hey, you walking there, Andre? You walking there? What is it? Don't come to the door cussing, rolling your eyes with all these headaches and stuff. I don't need time for no headaches. I'm already walking the house like this. Hey. Watch this. Here it come. Here it come. You ready? You ready? You ready? Assure me that you're with me. Affirm to me that you're my lady. Not somebody else's. On my team. And you get through with me and I'll be like, Why we ain't getting nowhere. Some of you mad. Ooh, I can't believe he's talking. Now we need to we need to speak the truth in here. It's a, it's, it's been in the text. It's, it's, a, it's in the text. So, so so what happened was, so what happened was, somebody say what happened. Once we affirm you, once God affirmed you, then once God assured him, part of the assurance was to take him through a process. Somebody say a process. Say it like you mean it. God of the law says, I'm finna use, I'm finna use, I'm, oh, okay, let me, let me I, I wrote it down so I won't forget it. Uh-huh. When you get to verse 9 through 17, Mac, this was known in that day as a cutting covenant. So what the cutting covenant does, they go get the animals and cut them in half and put them side by side. Okay. Okay. Now the cutting covenant says, whatever person walks through the animal makes the covenant. And when the covenant person walks and breaks it, he dies like the, the animal. So what happened, Carla? Abraham cut them all, right? Laid them down, but he didn't kill the birds. They were flying away. But the problem that Abraham had was that the vultures were coming to eat the carcasses. So instead of him doing the cutting ceremony, he was fighting off the dead, the carcasses from eating the, from eating the carcasses, right? But while he was fighting them off, Gee, God showed up. See, uh, yeah. well, if Abraham would have walked through it, that would have been Abraham making the covenant with God. Oh, 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 oh. But God had Abraham fighting out the, 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 
scriptures so they wouldn't eat the fruit, the, 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 the birds and the animals. And why he was fighting them off. God walked through it. Oh, y'all missing this. He said, he said, I need you to understand something. The covenant that you ain't making a covenant to me. God says, I'm making a covenant to you. And if I don't do what I promised you I would do, I would die like the animals that you just cut up. Oh, my God. See, some of y'all, some of y'all, you know why you're missing salvation? You think you're making a covenant to God. No, 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 no. God said, I'm making a covenant with you. I've already fixed it. I've already made a way. I've affirmed you. I've reassured you. But I need you to trust me. Believe that I am God all by myself. And I'll take care of every situation you have. And if I don't deliver, I die. tell y'all no one to shout. They had the covenant set down. Don, and he was supposed to walk through it. God said, I'm going to have, have you preoccupied with something else. See, God said, I'm going to have you fighting off your haters. Uh-oh. I'm going to have you deal with them family folk that don't like you. I'm going to. I'm going to have you pushing all them stuff out the way that God doesn't, you know, they trying to tell you you can't have no, no, they know the agreement between you and God. You, he said, I'm going to have you pushing all that stuff away. And while you're pushing it away, oh, y'all ain't feeling this. God says, it's a done deal. What I promised you, it's already yours. That's why he said, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard, neither has it entered the hearts of man. The good thing that God already, somebody say already. He already is a done, somebody says a done deal. Your deliverance is a done deal. Your breakthrough is a done deal. Your inheritance is a done deal. How can you stand on that? Because I made the covenant with you. me and you. I made the covenant with you, not you with me. Uh, I promised you that you the head, not the tail. You didn't promise me that. I promised you that. I promised you you're above and not beneath. I promised you that you join us to the throne. I promised it to you so you can say it's a done deal and walk like you're just waiting on it. Just waiting on you to, to trust him. He's just waiting on you to walk in. He just waiting on you to walk in like you ain't got it. Call. He needs you to wake up in the morning. Say, yep, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. Why are you doing that? He promised me this. If you really, okay, here I come. I'm trying to, if you really believe that, why you ain't walking like I wake up every morning. Uh oh, here it is. It's another day. I know I should have been killed last night, but he woke me up. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's a present. He got something for me today. Let's rock and roll today, baby. But the 
three points you give you? I don't the freedom. Freedom. He who the son. Why do you keep locking yourself up with your words and your thought process? What else you give you? Healing. You know how you get healing? Somebody say how. The truth of his word. His word will bind you back up and heal you and set you free and restore you. You know why you struggling as people of God? You ain't reading. You ain't my people. You want God to move when you say move. No, 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 no. You got to trust God and move when he moves. Just like that. Listen, I'm done. These three last things we thought we see these parts. Okay, this this just for a minute. This, this made me take our right. It, it said, Matt. It said, it said, when Abraham was concerned about himself, God answered him by saying, "I am." I am that I. When you start thinking about yourself. God shows up and says, no, I am. That I am. I, I am. When you go back to the city, go tell them you need that donkey. And when you get to go, just tell them who it is. Say, I am that I am. And it said, the owner said, here, sure, take it, take it. See, when you quit thinking about you and say, God says, I am. Whatever I need, that's who he is. If I need money, he say, I'm the bank. If I need credit, he say, I'm credit. If you need healing, he say, I'm a healer. If you need a lawyer, he say, I'm a lawyer. If you need peace, he says, I'm peace. Stop thinking about you, Carla Taylor, and remember what God said. I am. Number two, number two, number two, number two, number two. Number two, number two, number two. When Abraham was concerned about his heirs, God said, I will. When you worry about your seeds and what you do you, God says, I will. I'll take, I will. I will take care of them. I, I promise you, I, I will deliver. I will give you what I promised you. Quit worrying about other people. You know why we don't get nothing as believers? We want people to know what we're doing. We want people in our business. We want... We worry about what they think. When you, when you worry about what people say, God says, "I will." It doesn't matter. You want people to know what you got going. Shut up. Let people think what the hell they want to think. Cause it don't matter what you say. They're already thinking it. They're already thinking it. So why waste your time explaining? Something to a person that already has a thought in their mind. A man or woman convinced against their will is of the same opinion. If I got to keep convincing you that I'm somebody different, think what you want to think about me. And number three. Y'all ready for the last one? You ready? And when Abraham was concerned about the land, right. God says, I have given. It's already done. It's, I've already prepared it for you. It's already, somebody says, it's already done. He, he's not creating that stuff as he's sending you. He created it before he sent you. I just need you to walk to it. I need you to trust me. Yeah, well, that happened to you. Yeah, you're hurting. But do you trust me? See, when you were thinking about you, he said, I am. <laughs> when you worry about your kids, he said, I'll take care of them. And when you're concerned about your stuff, he said, I have given. See, Abraham was concerned about his land. That was the stuff he promised him. He said, I've already given it to you, Bubba. But y'all don't know what to say. It's a done. Hey, 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 h
hey, 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 Connie, it's a done deal. Mac, it's a done deal. Hey, 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 hey. Brandon, it's a done deal, Bubba. Shauna, he's already had it mapped out for you. Four years ago when he brought you to this church, he said, I'm going to turn your life around. What the devil meant for evil. Okay, it's a dumb, it's a, somebody say, hey, MC Hammer made me. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. You can't be touched when you go. When you chew teeth, you couldn't walk from cancer. But God said, I got you. I'm going to send you to a place where you can hear my word. So when you get scared, hold on to me. That word will keep you, man. See me that word will make a way out of no way, man. That word will do the that gum thing, man. It will not come back void. Abraham, I know you're wearing I know you're concerned, but I'm going to affirm myself to you. I'm going to assure you, and I'm going to show you who I am. I'm God, and I change not. I will keep my word, and I have given you what I promised you. I look at believers. So what is wrong with you? We got God. This is the problem. We got God. He, he, he done took care of us all. He done brought us through dangers seen and unseen. He done kept you from more things you could ever throw a stick at. He done brought those disarrayed children back home. He done saved your house. He done blessed your business. He wrote your name in the Lamb's book of life. He done healed you. He done picked you up and turned you around. He done placed your feet on a solid ground. He give you words to say to those that need it. He fills you with the Holy Spirit that knows all things of God, even the deep secrets, and you look like that. I'm perplexed. It don't match. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Hey, you ever woke up to, you know what? I'm going to shop and bath. Get up. Make your breakfast. Make your coffee. You ain't in a hurry, but you know, I'm going to get out here by 11. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm going to hit these malls. I'm going to hit these. She ain't like you. Y'all go shopping. I go to buy. Okay. I ain't looking at no store. I already know what I'm looking for. I ain't finna try five of them on. Oh, there it is. Can I get that shirt in the 3X? Pants in the 34? No, that ain't in the 34. That was in high school. <laughs> 34, I'll be surprised. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I had to, to, to pin that to my skin. What's wrong with you? It hurt. They stopped too far apart. Oh, okay. Give me, give me, give me that, that 3X and the, the, the 40. 40, 32, put that. I don't care what it costs. I'm going to pay for it. See, you, you count your money when you ain't got nothing. When I'm hungry for lunch. Mm. I, when, when you got money. Call you, what you talking about? I feel a steak. Who you going with? I'm by myself. I don't need nobody with me to go eat. I was riding down the street, down. I said, whoa, I'm hungry. I pulled up in Papa Do's. I said, give me one of them. One of them and one of them. Yeah. 
And I need one of them dirty dirty. Yeah. Can I get some bread with with some uh, uh, here I go. with that scrimp scampy sauce? That that milk that that that, that sauce that tastes like scrimp. Dip it in the bread. <laughs> yeah, that's it. When you give me my fondue, can you ease up on the cheese? And ask some more crab meat too. See, when you got money, you order what you want. I don't need the menu. I, I know where to start, but I'm tasting this up. So they have this thing called it's called linguine, broccoli, mushrooms, and, and grilled chicken bread. Chicken strips, right? Oh, it's so good, and it's and it's and it's, and it's laid. It's 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 smothered in in, in olive oil uh, uh, olive oil sauce. So I said, "Can you do me a favor?" He said, "What you want, sir? Add me one of the man do it sauces and cut it up for me." I don't care what it's called. It don't matter. Hey, did I ask you what it called? Yeah. I, asked I asked you to get it, please and thank you. And then sometimes when I went to the other day, man, I was real hungry. Man, I sit down, I suck that done, I suck that fondue down so fast. I'm like, whoo! I done ate it all. Bang my food. It was so good. But I got full. Because I had to make room. To finish off this dirty dirty. That's the important thing. I had to finish it. That's that's fifteen dollars. I'm not gonna leave none of this. Um, ain't no more. Let me check. Here's the deal. You read? They brought the check. You eighty three dollars. I don't care. You know how hard I work? You know how much y'all keep me up? Y'all missed that. You know how much y'all keep me up? Because I eat what I want to eat. Drink what I want to drink. If you got a problem, hit that door. Yeah, because if I go to your car, it's... <laughs> okay. If I check purses and brought them together, we get the whole church out. When you understand, hear me come, hear me come, that you're a child of God. Bring a word, man. Bring a word. Big word today. Yeah, man. Big word. Bring a word. Bring a word. Good morning. What's good? What's good about it? Baby, you need to die. I mean, go to sleep. <laughs> Dig a hole and jump in. Go jump off the high five the top of Doing 7 a.m. track. I mean, God. He woke you up. That's all you got. I don't like you, every time you every time I see you happy, I say, I'm saved. Hey, how you doing? This morning. You, you call me. I, hey, good morning. Hey, how you doing? You up? Yeah, I'm up. Chilling. Ready to go. What's up? Don't keep asking. What do you want? Uh, I was thinking. What you thinking? You're talking too long. You're taking too long. You're pulling me out of my element. What is it, baby? You barbecuing a meal doing? See, once you've been broke, yeah. how much money you got? You always looking for it. Yeah. Oprah yeah. Winfrey said, they, they asked Oprah, why do you work so hard? She said, once you've been hungry, you can never be full. You one step away from being back hungry again. So you got to get it while you can. You got to get it all you can while you can. Block out what these old broke preachers told you that money is evil. No, the love of money is evil. 
If money is so evil, why are we take it up on Sunday? It's only evil when you covet it. When you when you messing over people to get it. He wants you to have it. See, because you can do more with it than you can without it. Money don't buy happiness. You lie. Ask that woman that had a toothache and I went and had her teeth pulled. So she happy. Ask that person that's hungry and you gave him a whole twin and tell him to give what he want. Oh, they happy. Ask that grandchild of yours that been wanting that laptop and you bought it. Ask yourself when your car broke down and you can pay the $1,400. Yes, yes, oh, we serve God broke. You a lie. I praise a little better when I got a little more in my pocket. When them bills paid, but Parker, wife happy, the kids kicking and begging, the dogs jumping around. Oh, I'm good. And I reach in my pocket and I pull out some cash. Listen, listen, it's a done deal. You just got to believe that. Problems will come. Issues are going to stay here. But we got to understand he's here. He's made a promise to us. It's a done deal. She's going to get a whooping like church. It's a done deal. She's going to get that whooping. Listen to me. Look at what God says. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Go, go on, start crying now. Yeah, y'all, y'all got it easy. You remember, you remember when I used to just call the table. I used to be like, I used to be like, look, Cam, just talk all doing church. My auntie say, I ain't looking up. Be talking about. Well, she stand up and say, you be like. Then she come on there and she pinches you. Better not cry. Yeah, you, 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 hold on, sister, sister. Donna, you sitting here ripping my skin. This is a tender meat right here. Sister Jones, she's telling me, I better not say nothing hell I'm dying. Don't cry. Well, okay, what you want me to do? I don't care what you're going through. It's a done deal. I don't care what you don't have. I don't care the, the pain you're feeling, the lack that you're experiencing. It's a done deal. That's why Christ should go to the cross. He said, I ain't got to say, let me tell you, look at me, look at me. Stop telling your business. It ain't, can't nobody else fix it. They, they, can't, they can't fix it. Hush. And those that keep talking, he making you look real stupid. Be quiet. See, it don't even matter what you say. They already have it in their mind what they think. Can I bless your game, Mike? They talked about Jesus, man. Hallelujah. See, you gotta know how to you know how to mess them up. Hallelujah. Say what you want to say, baby. Hallelujah. 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 It don't make sense. Don't worry about it. Hallelujah. I'm tired of talking about me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you. They still talk with him. Lord, I love you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Holy Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. You ain't got nothing. He bless you. You know what you want to say? Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. 
And I promise you, as you're saying it right now, the issues you have in there leaving your mind. The lack that you have, you saying, okay, okay, okay. Keep playing. You start saying, Lord, 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 Lord you got it. Either. Then you say, Lord, I thank you. Glory to your name. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. you now, what you think the devil is sitting there doing? What you think the devil should have? Lord, I thank you. Glory to your name. He should have come out. Now, I just knocked him outside. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Here's the last one. Keep playing for me, Hugh. You messing all the way up. Let me say. You shed your blood for me. You shed your blood. We covered, people. He got us. Thank you, Jesus. Why, why can we say that? Why can we say that? Because he died, laid in the grave on Friday, and got up Sunday morning with all power in his hand. Glory to your name. It's a, somebody say it's a done deal. I mean, let's, let's praise God. It's a done, Whatever you believe in God for, you got to know it's a done deal. He's already worked it out. He just waiting on you to praise him. He waiting on you to understand that he got you. He waiting on you to trust him. Put your trust in God. And watch him do it on him. He know your heart. He know your heart is broken. He know that burden is heavy. My God, it's a done deal. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. It's a done deal. Look at the other side and say, neighbor. It is a done deal. My God, everything going to be all right. Let's get the Lord a head clap and pray. Oh, my God. The doors of the church are open. If you hear you're not saved, you don't have a place to call home, you fell off and want to come back home to God, will you come while the blood is yet running warm in your veins? Just come just as you are. You don't have to have it all figured out. He will work it out. He has already worked it out. He's just waiting on you to stand up and admit to the world and to yourself that you need him. If you hear about it, give us a, a little quick intro to this song if you hear it just come my God Is there another one? Is there another one? Right now, today, just come. Change that again. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. If you hear and thank God it won't forgive you, he already has. Look at God. Oh, tell me God won't do it. Yeah, another one. My God, win. Well, won't you come on? Come on, just get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Amen. Let's give the Lord a head clap of praise. Israel is not saved. Jacob shall not lose his reward. What a word, what a word. It's a done deal, man. We got to walk in that, man. What you wearing? I'm wearing confidence. My confidence is in him. It has nothing to do with me. God got me, man. Do you know that? God got you. If you are his, he got you. If you're not his, he got you. just waiting for you to come to him so he can unleash all of it to you. He keeps enough love in order to get you him, to him. My God. It's, ooh. it's a done deal. Now let's give as God has already purposed in your heart to give. Amen. A worship ain't a worship without an offering. Come on, y'all. Let's take up this offering and let's go. Where my boys? Where they at? Where everybody at? Okay, come on. Amen. Yeah, they walking so slow they got on new clothes or something? Let me find out. Bug? You have to wait till everybody sit down and see that sweater, huh? Where you going? There, there you go. That were two little boys. What y'all doing? Come on, buddy. Come on, one on this end. Yeah, go down there, bud. They're my good hair members. 